words are very unnecessary. They can only do harm. Dun 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 What are you doing? Playing on my drums. That drums? Uh, well, it's your mouth making it sound like drums. Why are you singing Depeche Mode songs? Because you were listening to them a lot last night. Yeah, yeah, I like that song. I like I like a lot of music. Yeah, you listen to some Cure, and who else? Oh, uh, When in Rome, The Promise, that's a good song. Yeah, you've been posting that stuff on TikTok, too, haven't you? Music videos. Yeah, yeah. I, that song stuck in my head. Man, he's creeping me out. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, folks. Happy Thanksgiving. We're going to get into what he sold. Nine items yesterday. And he's going to got to touch base on the ones he messed up in the video yesterday. And anyway, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And thumbs up. We love you. And I appreciate you. And MML, get well. MML's been under the weather, Cap Guy. Oh, man. Well, get well. MML, we love you, buddy. There you go. All right, folks. Hope you have a great day. Turkey, pie, cornbread dressing. Here we come. Creamy casserole? Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that too, JT. Uh, you know, if there's a cornbread dressing and mashed potatoes and gravy and turkey and olives and all that stuff, Stuffed celery sticks, deviled eggs, green bean casserole. Yeah, it just ain't gonna fit on my plate right now. I like it okay, but that ain't my that ain't the top of my list when I'm filling. And split rolls. There you go. Not the Hawaiian rolls or any of that kind of stuff. Anyway, we're gonna get into what I sold. I had nine sales, like you said, and uh, we'll go through those. And I'm gonna touch base quickly on the ones from yesterday because I messed them up in my video and it went a little too fast and the, the words that I said in the video weren't very good. So anyway, we're gonna get into that. So I hope you appreciate it and like it and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, I plan on having some food and watching some foosball and uh, hope my Cowboys win, beat that Washington football team. And uh, anyway, we'll get into it. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, quickly on the ones I sold yesterday. I bought a bunch of E.T. figures, and they're all 1982. So they're when the movie came out. Um, I paid 80 bucks for all of them. This is one of the more valuable ones. Uh, I think there's one other that's more valuable than this. But this is, uh, of course, Elliot and Mr. E.T. on the bike, headed to meet the spaceship. And uh, I paid 20 bucks for it. I comped everything based on the what I spent. And I just kind of bounced it around to the different things. But I sold this for 31 And this is going to Great Britain. And I had it as part of my 10% off. So I only made $7.99 off the item. But sales are sales. Profit's profit. The next is PS2 Sega Superstars. I paid $1.56 back in February. Sold this for... $9.99 uh, plus shipping, and I made $6.19 off that. The next I bought last Friday at an estate sale. I talked about it the other day, but you've never seen it other than the video yesterday. This is a Kerman. It's not your typical furry flush, or furry, furry flush, furry plush, but uh, it's kind of more, more like a, I don't know, a carpet type thing. But anyway, it's Fisher Price, and Right here where the tag is, you'll see uh, number 864. That's the more desired of all of them. There's some that are, I think it was 850 and some others. And when I did the comp on, while I was standing there, uh, it came up to about 20 bucks, but I didn't do the number. I just did the Fisher Price Kermit the Frog. I didn't know the number had relevance. And uh, anyway, when I got home and I started doing the picture taking and, and all that good stuff, and there you go, 1979. Uh, the comps were over $100. 
So I put him on for 105. I saw a watcher. I sent out a $99 offer and it sold. So my profit on that, because I did uh, upgrade the priority to make sure I was covered on insurance. He could have went first class. The customer paid me 470 to ship him, but I went ahead and put it in a flat rate envelope to get the priority and instead of just buying insurance and it worked out a little bit better. And I ended up making 78.69, so definitely be on the lookout. That'll probably be a rare, rare thing to find. But the next is Mary Kay, 35 cents in, and it's a Brower uh, liner, brow pencil, Aub soft auburn, 49.72 is the number. And um, I paid 35 cents and a bundle deal per unit. I sold it for 10.20 and I made 5.74. Hanna-Barbera Flintstones. I bought two of these at an estate sale, probably the best estate sale I've ever been to back in February. And um, they just now sold the first one. Um, they're in pretty good shape. There's one spot on the side of each one of them that's small. But um, sold this for $23.39 off a of 50 cent investment, part of my 10% off. And I made um, $19.45 off that. And the last thing I sold yesterday was the Carlton Pennant. And this is Carlton College in Northfield, Minnesota, which is famous for the uh, James and Younger gang uh, trying to rob banks. And of course, Jesse and Frank got away, but a bunch of the younger boys got killed and are captured. And uh, I paid a quarter for this back in June. I bought a bunch of them, 24 for a quarter apiece. I've, so I think I have like six left. So I've made a lot of money off these. Sold this for uh, actually $7.99 plus shipping, and I made $6.71 on that. On the day, I had six sales, $26.66 in cost of goods, $181.57 in sales, and $124.67 in profit. To yesterday, I started off with this eight de jour uh, perfume or en de toile, and it's 40%. There you go. And um, I bought this uh, for 50 cents at a yard sale. Sold it uh, for $17.99 plus shipping, $15.45, and those have to go ground. The next thing was Free Carl. I guess it's a TV show. I've never seen it. Some of you may be familiar with it. Found this at uh, a yard sale as well. I picked it up just because of the title. Uh, sold it for 14 plus shipping, and I made 11.47. And now I will get into the things that I've sold last night that I have not shipped yet. See you in a minute. Okie doke. Okay, the things I sold after uh, that last clip. One of them I got for nothing. I've got this for free. This is PS3 NCAA 13. The one that's the most desirable of these is 14 because it was the last year they made it whether it's on PS3 or even more desirable on Xbox 360. Uh, this one's complete. I got this in a bundle deal for a Wii and a bunch of games. So the comp was done on the Wii at $35. That's what I paid for it. So the games were all zero, basically. And this is a, a fairly desirable game. Um, I sold this for $24.95 of free shipping. So... These, I got a bunch of these. These are cards from 1968. This one is the Detroit Lions. It's by Fleer. I bought a stack of these, probably about 20 of these, of different teams. Cowboys, Oilers, all that kind of stuff. Some of them don't even exist, like the Oilers or Tennessee now. Um, I paid basically about a dollar a piece, thereabouts. And um, I got them last summer. And I sold this for $10.00 plus shipping. The next is, I paid a dollar a couple weeks ago, a bunch of patches. This happens to be the carrier that I was on, the USS Constellation. This is an ice pack, meaning they were up north, uh, somewhere around the equator, and it's an air wing up here, CBW-14. The CV is aircraft carrier, and the ice pack at 86. I got off the ship at 82, so I did not keep the patch because I only keep things that are relevant to when I was there or places I've been, etc. Um, on that patch, I paid a dollar for it, and I sold it for $18.95 plus shipping. The next is a Byron Nelson 
golf course uh, tournament by head. It is brand new, 18 cents. Sold this for $13 plus shipping. And that tournament takes place in Texas. The next is a Jimmy Johnson. It's a Cobalt Lowe's Jimmy Johnson Hendrix Motorsports um, ball cap. Uh, paid a dollar for this. Sold it for $15.29 with free shipping. The next is some perfume again. It's 95% full. It is Ninja. And I don't know anything about it other than Parfum. And I sold this. I paid three at an estate sale. I sold it for $23.39 plus shipping. The next are three albums. I paid uh, three oh three for a total, uh, so a dollar a piece, a dollar and a penny. They're all James Brown. There you go. There's one. There's two. And these are going to Canada. And there's the last one. So, sold those for fifteen. Now I'm looking for it. Fifteen forty nine plus medium mouse shipping. And that's it. I had uh, nine sales. Thirty one twenty one in cost of goods. One seventy seven sixty nine. My profit will probably be around 115 or so. I uh, cleaned this up. It had one little blemish on it yesterday. This is the shirt I found at the thrift store for, I think, $1.99. Um, it is Paul McCartney. It's on a baseball-type uh, concert T-shirt, all-style, and you saw it earlier. But I did comps on this. This is the O Tour back in the USA Tour. Uh, the sole comps on there's well, there's no sole comps because there's only one listed. There's a guy that has one listed for $125. I'll probably go under that, maybe $99 or something, see if I can get a bite. So, hopefully, that'll be another home run. And uh, again, y'all have a great Thanksgiving. I appreciate everybody. Hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate you. Have a great day, folks.